All right, so here we are, Amp Nation. This is just an update. So we're still holding strong at six cents. Don't fret. Don't worry. We're just waiting for AMP to implement a few things from the white page or the white paper, and it should make it move a bit. Okay, so I know we've been focusing a lot on alchemy because of the similarities and everything, and that's been taking the focus off of AMP, the empire, but trust me, AMP still uh, has the potential to do a lot of things. I just wish that we can get in contact with the founders, uh, I'm going to reach out and see what we can do, man. Maybe convince them to go international as well because uh, they, they are branded. They're, they're, they're a staple, man. They're already a name, you know what I'm saying? They've done so many big things already just in the U.S. that if they took it international, man, it would be crazy. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Are you still hashtag Amp Nation or did you jump ship and just go with Alchemy? Or are you going to do both? I think a combination of both would be killer. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think just because Alchemy does majority of the things that they do, I don't think that you should jump ship or panic sell or uh, start looking down on AMP just because AMP is staying around six cents. Because remember, AMP has went up before too. Um, so, and you never know when Alchemy is going to go down. That's why I always tell you guys, Pay attention to the long term, pay attention to the roadmap, pay attention to the white paper because this is going to be rocky road without the ice cream regardless. This is going to be, uh, what do you call it? This is going to be a roller coaster up and down without the theme park screams. It just is. That's just how this goes. So that's why I don't get too infatuated with the daily charts. Now, if you're just looking, you know, somebody made a comment and said, you got to look at the daily charts, you know. And that is true. That's if you're looking to, you know, buy dips. That's if you're looking to hurry up and sell so you can make profits like that, quick flips. I call them quick flips. But me, me, if, if you're a holder like me, where you're looking for the long term, I'm looking for one of these cryptocurrencies to replace the dollar. That's my goal. My, I already make money with my businesses. I have businesses. Trading, and doing all of that extra stuff is not my main source of income or something like that. So when I buy into a cryptocurrency, I don't even pay attention. I don't even know when the dip is coming. I don't even know when all those, all those things happen because I'm focused on my real actual business is found in the description of this video. But anyway, uh, <laughs> look, it's going to be looking like this. And guess what? Guess what else is going to be looking like this? Alchemy is going to look like that soon once a lot of the hype dies down. Don't pay attention because these two coins, the reason why I like both of them is because they're not defined by the hype. They're not defined by a tweet or a press release or anything like that. It might move the needle for a few of you guys that's just trying to you know, do a quick flip and get some cash quickly. But me, I'm trying to be the, the, one of the ground investors in the next Apple, one of the ground investors in the next uh, Twitter, Facebook, one of the ground investors in the next, um, you know, Amazon or something like that. They didn't take their money out immediately. It took 25 years for Jeff Bezos to get a profit and his investors to get a profit from Amazon. That's called determination, dedication, consistency, persi uh, persistence, and perseverance, man. You got, if you want to be a winner and come out on top, you got to be like that. But if you want to be panicking, and looking at this every single day and every single hour and like, oh, taking my money out, put it over here and all of that. Man, that's a damn headache. That's not a way to live. You need to get a real business. Trading is, is a hustle. That's not a real business. Now, I'm not knocking the hustle. You know, you can, if you in a situation that's tight and you want, you know, you need some quick cash, it is a nice way of doing it. But if you need like a real investment, Check the description and you will see things where you get monthly earnings, hands off without having to sit and stare at something uh, and it's not dividends. Okay, but anyway, so it's pretty much staying steady around six, six cent. I don't know when it's going to go up, guys. I'm just being honest with you. Uh, I pray that they start implementing more things from the white paper, partnerships and joint ventures, those things are uh, rolling out. This summer, uh, Shopify is supposed to roll out with them. I don't know what's taking so long. Freaking uh, um, 
Alchemy already got the partnership with Shopify, and that's 1.7 million freaking uh, uh, merchants on board. So it's like, damn, like I heard about that partnership with AMP first. So I'm like, mm, like, damn, is it even going to still happen if, if they just got beat out by Alchemy? But like the dude was saying, Dark, uh, dark Side of Podcast, um, it's, it's room for both of them. They're both similar, but, you know, like, look, it's a PayPal and it's a Stripe. You know what I'm saying? It's a Cash App and it's a Venmo. So just because it's one of them don't mean the other one can't be successful either. It's a McDonald's, it's a Burger King. It's always clones, okay? Only this time, it seems as if the clone, which is uh, Alchemy, might might actually beat out the, the McDonald's, which would be Burger King, okay? All right, anyway.